Hello guys, my name is Kamana Keen, and today I'm going to be giving you a book review on what is the Panama Canal. So if you don't know what a canal is, a canal is basically like a waterway that connects like two places. For instance, the Panama Canal. This, um, this canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. And here's the thing, it's one of the seven wonders of the world of the modern era. Which is pretty cool. But, of course, it wasn't like, bam, 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 we had to create it. It took 10 years to build this thing, from 1904 to 1914, which is a whole decade. Or century, I forgot. But, it was just a really hard time for the people who built the uh, Panama Canal, because it is considered to be one of the greatest and most dangerous engineering projects in the entire in the entirety of the world it's not the most dangerous but it's considered one of the dangerous the dangerous but so let me give you some facts it was just i mean there's not a lot you can include in this book because like all it just was talking about was the train well not the train because you can't you can't make a train that runs on water not using the water as the fuel, but actually, like, rides on water. But they didn't have that at that time, and I'm pretty sure we don't have it at this time. So, that's impossible. But they used the trains for, like, trans transporting stuff. And, like, coal and stuff, and some, well, some other ores. Maybe some stone that they didn't need, or they're just clearing up a bunch of dirt. But there's a bunch of obstacles in the, like entirety of this build like there were a bunch of mosquitoes and one worker even saw a mosquito laying eggs so that's like 50 more mosquitoes they have to deal with which is a lot and imagine tens of hundreds and even thousands of them mosquitoes of thousands of mosquitoes and even some of them have a yellow fever of um, malabia i think that's how you pronounce it but it was just a really tragic time because a lot of people died building this process. And, well, it's just, that's why this book review is going to be short. But it was a really sad time. All it, all it really mentioned was, like, the storyline of what was happening in this time. Like, the, like, it just, well, if you look at the timeline in the back, it will show you, like, um... It will show you a bunch of this stuff on right this page. But it just, like, included a lot of stuff about this. Like, gold is discovered in California, and gold miners poured into California. That's what I've been trying to mention about all these, like, world history books, because it includes a lot of that. It includes, like, the gold rush, the, um... Let me just find the timeline page. It includes Thomas Stevens rides across North America on a bicycle. American Civil War begins. Like it's um it's not it's not that uh that's why this book review is gonna be short because it just included a lot of stuff that was happening on the other world, not the Panama Canal. Like what was what they were focusing on that. So the Panama Canal, well, it's really I mean, like, it was really, really hard to build because of it was very humid, the soil was moist, the, it was just really hot outside, there were deadly animals everywhere, including mosquitoes that have the yellow fever malavia virus, some, some just dangerous birds that may or may have not been discovered at that time that bit them and they didn't know what to do because they didn't have their bodies just couldn't adapt adapt fast enough to the environment of the Panama Canal. But happily, um, well, there's these things called water locks. And it's basically, since there are so many terrain changes, because the Panama Canal has, like, well, just a bunch of terrains, like it could be a river and then a waterfall, but not really a waterfall, because that didn't tell us in this book. But it just said that there were very, very high water changes, like it was like, this because more water was pouring down from this side and they had to create water locks because it was almost a waterfall well it wasn't 
it was almost a waterfall, but it wasn't. So, like, they have these water locks where it's basically, um, you have these two metal panels that bring up, that, like, pop up, and your ship is, in, like, incapitated between both of those metal panels. And really, they changed the water level, they stuck some water and put it there, so then the ship can reach higher, and then they lower this one, so the ship, so it's basically right here, wait for it to suck up all the water to make the ship go here, and now the river's low, so they could go here, and then this thing drops, so then it will be the regular water level, so it's a pretty good invention, I was like, what? That's how it works in this book, but it's pretty crazy, and... There's some crazy stuff in here, there's some boring stuff in here, but it's just all a mashup of mashup. But anyways, that's it for this book review. I hope you like my book review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And that's really it for this book review, and um, see ya.